welcome back to my channel so I'm Cheryl and I know the last time I did a little baby haul part one of kind of like what I got for my little girl as you guys now know I am pregnant today I am 35 weeks pregnant meaning that I'm literally like three to four weeks away from like literally giving birth So it has been a crazy journey. I am super tired all the time. I have like sleeping spells, fainting spells. I'm just so exhausted all the time. But instead of doing the part two of my baby haul, what I wanted to do is actually show you guys what I'm planning to bring in my hospital bag because I feel like that is so important to share with you guys as well. So I wouldn't be going in depth for all the stuff. I've also been reaching out to brands and brands have been reaching out to me on working together for baby products which I will be sharing more soon in a Q&A for my daughter when she's out when I actually use the products and stuff but now before I get to use any of them or try them out I will be sharing with you guys what I'm going to be bringing to the hospital because that is coming really really soon so my case is a little bit different because I will have to do part 2 for this video as I will be going to the hospital first and then I'll be going to my confinement center which is my queen uh, located in Sentosa so I'll be doing a part one and part two I don't know how I will split it but let's do it if you guys haven't make sure to subscribe like and comment below what kind of videos you would like to see I know this hospital bag video has been highly requested that's why I wanted to show you guys so yeah this is my large long sham um, hospital bag. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Titus actually bought this for me because our stroller for our daughter is pink. So we wanted a bag, like a mom bag, you know, that has like a zip because it is convenient when it has like a zip um, that is pink as well. So we went with this. Um, this all, by the way, this isn't sponsored. Some stuff are and some stuff aren't. So. Yeah, first off, a very important thing that you have to bring is your marriage certificates. <laughs> if not, how are you gonna verify that like, you know? Yeah, so that is a marriage certificate that I'm bringing to the hospital. Then I'm actually gonna be bringing some hand sanitizer in my bag. This is baby swipe, it's hand sanitizing foam. Moving on, we have some essentials for the baby. This is a baby bum cleansing spray from Offspring. And then we have the Mastella diaper cream. I went to Mother Care. This, this one was not sponsored. I actually bought it. And I asked them honestly why is the best diaper cream do you guys recommend? And they recommended this. So I will try it out and I'll let you guys know. Then we also have milk bottles because that is important. Here I have the Hagen bottles. So Hagen was super sweet to send me some bottles. We actually went for a whole class with Hagen. Every mom that I've talked to has given very good reviews on this. So yeah, I have two sizes here. This is like what, 60 ml and this one's 150 ml. Um, yeah. Also, I went to buy more of these because this, are, I just felt like it wasn't enough. So I'm bringing four. <laughs> Next, I'm bringing some milk storage bags. Um, I'm just bringing all of this for my confinement and my hospital, it's all together. This is some um, milk storage bags from Mandela. So they sent over some. And I will also be bringing my breast pump, which also is from Mandela. They sent this over. This is their brand new one that they just launched in Singapore. So this took a while for me to get, but I recently just went to their headquarters to get it. And they actually showed me how to use it, which is so convenient. Choosing the right breast pump is so important because I'm planning to breastfeed. This is nursing pads. So when you breastfeed, you do need nursing pads for your breasts as they do leak, you know, sometimes, so you need it. This is the Medela nursing pads. Then we also need nipple cream if we're breastfeeding. So I put this into my hospital bag as well. I'm bringing this lanolin cream. This is also from Medela. It's actually one of their signature products and lanolin cream actually helps with your nipple cracking so that it prevents cracking and stuff. <laughs> Next, I'm also bringing some nipple wipes. So when you breastfeed and after you breastfeed, you need to clean your area. I bought this uh, from Mother Care as well. So this is some nipple wipes. Okay guys, so now we just finished the bigger bag. 
I am actually bringing my whole luggage collection which I'm gonna show you guys so I will be bringing this huge luggage bag here and the one on the floor so for part one which is this video we are watching right now I'm gonna be showcasing the one here but this one will be in the part two with um, the other items that I need to bring for my delivery in the small luggage that I just showed we have some hats she will be wearing hats um, as you know newborns need to cover their heads so I'm bringing a whole box of these I bought these containers online so it's like easy to store so I'm bringing a few because I'll be going from hospital to confinement so I brought like there's probably at least eight in here <laughs> then I also am bringing some diapers this is the offspring ultra thin newborn diapers oh my god okay so I came to a realization as I was unpacking I was like why is there not enough clothes here um, but I realized the small luggage is for me to bring to the hospital and the big luggage is for me to bring to my confinement center. So I packed them separately already. But either way, I'm bringing sets of clothes for her so I will not be emphasizing on the clothes anymore. But for the clothes that I'm bringing to the hospital and also to the confinement center, I pack them in Ziploc bags after washing them. Um, I use the baby swipe laundry detergent for babies so these are my swaddles i packed my swaddles i packed two here they are the size s from ellie millie this brand right here um, i'm gonna show you guys the swaddles that i got so these are the two swaddles that i got and the options and the size they actually sent this over it's all bamboo fiber which the material is really soft and comfy three sets of outfits for her hospital stay so i brought a set of mittens a set of socks and a just her suit and lastly for the hospital outfits for my little girl we are bringing some classic swaddles and Ellie Mealy ones are different they're zip ups these ones are the normal classic nappy swaddles so I'm bringing two of these to the hospital okay moving on to the last thing that I've packed in my hospital bag and this will be the last item for part one because this is all I packed so far and I haven't opened up the bigger luggage so that will be in another video um, yeah, really really soon when I finish packing, I have to do that. So I have here two disposable maternity briefs because I also recently just found out that after you give birth, you actually bleed. I did not know that the whole time. Um, whether you do C-section or you go natural, you're gonna bleed. So instead of bringing my own underwear in the first two weeks, I wanted to wear disposable. So these are from Mother Care. This is in the size 10, 12 and size 14 to 16. I'll wear this first and then this. And then because you're gonna be bleeding, you're gonna need some pads, girl. Tampon isn't gonna work for you. So this is the massive maternity pad with wings that I'm gonna be bringing. I'm bringing one with me to the hospital first. It's basically diapers for moms. I'm bringing that first with me. So guys, I'm a bit out of breath right now, but that's all for today. And that's all I have that I'm bringing to the hospital for part one please stay tuned for part two because i will have to open up another luggage after i finish packing everything and my own clothes as well i will not be emphasizing on much of my clothes actually i'll be sharing that in my like vlogs when i change so i will not emphasize more on that i'm emphasizing more on what i'm actually like bringing in products and stuff um, for all the new mommies out there i had to google this i had to ask my confinement um, people about this i had to ask my gynae about this i had to ask the hospital about this so I had to do so many research on what I had to bring because I didn't want to overbring and I didn't want to underbring as well. So yeah. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you girls and guys subscribe for part two um, where I show you guys more, you know. I'm also going to do an unboxing of some packages that I am going to be receiving. So thank you so much again for watching this video. If you guys haven't, make sure to like, subscribe, Comment below what other videos you would like and turn on your post notifications so you'll never miss out on the time that I post. I'm also really active on my other socials so do go check that out if you haven't. Thank you girls and guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one.